Uh, Seco. Let's see that bigger eyeball. Shall we? There you are. Let's continue. That was cool. So it's the loading screen. And eventually it's going to go dark, right? When it's almost done. <coughs> or does it just go dark if it, if it stays this way for a while? Is it my T-screen, TV screen that's going dark? My TV screen thing, nothing's on it? I don't think so. No, it didn't go dark that time. It just goes dark if it's been on for a while. It is for my TV screen. Either way, here we are. Do you see that? The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. Putting my volume up a little bit. So I guess I should explore all around, try to find these little, um, voices. There's no map, so I just have to remember what I've looked at and what I haven't. It'll usually be on the table, I think. Wow. It just extends on as far as the eye can see in either direction. It's sort of like everything feels a bit humongous. And it's like, how would I ever. Yeah, right? This hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were. Yeah. Finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. Exactly. Compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet, the palace is everywhere. All the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. Man, I easily could have went the opposite direction. Can I jump down from here? Yep, I can. But should I? Once I jump down, I probably wouldn't be able to get back up. It's strange being in a place like this, having to make decisions like this. I guess jumping down would be a bad idea. I mean, for all I know, there could be spikes down there. I mean, I know there's not spikes directly down there, but it could be like a acid shooting from the walls or something, right? I mean, I think there's probably not, but... Did I get myself turned around? Or is it repeating itself? I think logically it must be repeating itself. It can't just go on and on like this forever, right? Like, it's meant to feel like it's going on and on forever, but it's just, you know, an echo, like the title says. So, let's see. If I go a little further, I'll probably come across the same thing again. I'll come across the stairs on my right and left, and I'll have to jump down. And then if I go a little further, I'll just run into the same thing again. Right there. There it is ahead. I can see it. 
So yeah, here's the stairs. And up ahead is that same little path that looks similar to where I came from. And so I have to jump down here. It's meant to feel like it goes on forever, but it's just repeating. That's all. I'm getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. Okay, can't jump down from here. It's probably too far to jump down. Okay, jump down and grab the chandelier. Oh, there's something pinned to my HUD now. I should go to that. Because I am not enjoying being lost. Maybe I should go the opposite way, though. Yeah, let's not go to the HUD. Let's explore a little. In the dark. I mean, it's by exploring that I'll find these voices. I don't know what they do, but it's something to do. I probably already missed a few voices, but um, not a bad idea to get used to finding them. Wow. Aha! And you thought I was crazy. Sounds like birds, didn't it? If this, if there's one over here, right? Here's the one here. Would that mean there's also one over there? No, that thing is different, right? I should go have a look at it though, just to be just to be sure. Uh, we'll walk around in a circle from the other side. First, I'll pass by these things. There it is. Nope, it's just a, it's a weird shadow thing. Pretty. All right, so we're heading this way. So not following the HUD paid off because there was a thing, there was a voice. safe. 